Hey cute people, this is my review on Allocate Naturals from Curl Kit. So, I've used the products now for about four or five weeks. I've used them several different ways. Really, really just two different ways. I use it in my um, wash routine and then I use it also to moisturize my hair during the week. I wish I could remember exactly how long I've had the products, but you will see that I am almost finished. So first I'll tell you my experience washing my hair with the products. The very first week that I used the products, like I said, remember that this is four or five weeks, so I can definitely tell you I like these products. So the first time I washed my hair, I used my... Um, Coconut oil and lavender concoction. That's what I use to massage my scalp. And um, I massaged my hair the night before. I put a conditioning cap on my head and I went to bed, got up the next day, washed my hair. Unfortunately, which I wish, whatever shampoo or cleansing um, product she has in her product line, I wish they would have given us that, but they did not. So I used the Luscious Locks. Shea butter hit um, shampoo. Okay, washed my hair. It felt everything. Everything felt great. Everything was groovy. My hair for two days, and this is winter now. But I think that week it was kind of warm here in New York. But um, my hair, I'm telling you, was moisturized Monday. I didn't have to really moisturize it again until Tuesday evening. And remember, it's winter. So that was good. Now the next week I'm looking for the same results. I didn't get that because I did not pre-poo or add any type of oil to my hair before I used the shampoo and so forth. Now my hair was definitely greatly moisturized. But I didn't get the extra days that I would have liked. Like um, I washed my hair on Sunday so that Monday evening my hair was dry. Now if I would have got the extra day groovy. So I say that to say, maybe because of the cold weather, I don't always pre-poo my hair before um, I wash my hair. I know I need to continue to always do that because, you know, winter dry hair, I live in New York and so forth. So you know what the weather like is here. But if you're using these products and you find that they're not what you want them to be, try pre-pooing your hair first. Some type of hot oil treatment before you use the products. And I'll tell you, your results will definitely be different because week two, when I did not use the coconut oil and lavender, my hair, yeah, I really had to keep up with the moisturizing for the week, which is fine. But um, I think it had to be last week, which would probably be like the fourth or the fifth week of me using these products. I didn't make the coconut oil and the um, lavender mix, and I didn't massage my hair before. So what I used was the cream of nature argan oil oil treatment and this stuff here you can use in your hair wet dry and they recommend also that you can use it as a hot oil treatment now what i did was the same thing i did in week one i just placed it in my hair the night before i put a conditioning cap on my head and i went to bed got up the next day washed my hair and got the same beautiful results the only thing i have to say with this my hair wasn't as it didn't stay as moisturized as long as it did when I used the coconut oil. So I would say definitely use the coconut oil and you get the best benefits with these products, especially in the dry winter months. But this stuff here, it smells so good. You hear me when I tell you? I mean, it smells delicious. It's a real light scent and it's not greasy at all. I've tried other organ organ oil products too and I have to say organ oil doesn't appear to be very greasy. After you apply it to your hair, if you sit around for a minute, you wouldn't even really recognize that you had oil in your hand because it doesn't leave your hands really greasy and shiny which is a good thing. So you don't have to worry about messing up your pillowcases, your hair scarves, clothes, whatever. Um, it's just not a really greasy, but it does leave your hair really nice and really soft. Another thing I've been doing with that all too during the week, just, just this last week really, just wet my hair, misting it a little bit, putting a little bit of the product in my hand, putting it in my hair and just retwisting it. 
That's what I've been doing with the argan oil. But now going back to Allocate Naturals, like I said, that's pretty much how I've been using it as far as um, my washing. So of course, then I, I'm i going to be using the, living, the lemongrass leave-in, which I really like this stuff right here. I, um, the ingredients are water. She has glycerin in here. That's the second ingredient. It is almond oil, wheat germ, protein. She has a silk amino acid, lemongrass extract, and um, some other things in here too. But this stuff, it does smell good. And as you know, let me say too, there's no petroleum, no mineral oil, no alcohol, no parabens, sulfates, or silicones are in this product. And it smells really good. It's not a very loud smell, but it does smell citrusy, really like a sweet citrus, if that makes sense. I guess that's the lemongrass. But this stuff really smells good. And even though, I don't know if you can really see much, you know, it looks like it would be oily, but it's not. Let me see. See it much? It's not really oily. Um, that's another thing that shocked me with these products too. It's it's very wet, but it's not oily at all. That's another thing that shocked me with these products too. They're not greasy. So when you use them in your hair, and you know you think of oil, even the oil, again, not greasy at all. You know, you put it in your hair, and you put it in your hair, and once you look at your hands after, see here, this is after I sprayed the lemongrass in my hair and also put it in my hair. Sprayed it in my hand and then put it in my hair. See, my hand is not greasy at all. Now this um 17 hair growth oil, this stuff here smells good too. It's very, very light. And it's not greasy at all. You know, it's an oil, of course. Just. See? There. And you see my hand is not greasy. It's not oily. And I have to say, for a product, I really like that because... You know that the oil is not going to be sitting on top of your hair. Okay, so let me just mention also, I think I told you the first week that I washed my hair, I used the um, Luscious Locks. The second week, I used this from ChagrinValleySoap.com. It's bananas and cream. I got this in a um, subscription, but I don't remember... If it was curl kit or curl box, if you remember, you can leave it in the description box so someone may be interested in it. But I have to say, this shampoo bar is not one of my favorites. It leaves like a waxy, and it's not like I tried a whole lot of shampoo bars, but it leaves like a waxy feel on my hair. It smells just like soap. I don't remember if the smell could be any different from... Um, the way it smells now, but um, I really have to say I don't care for that waxy feeling that it leaves on my hair. But I will tell you that I've used it twice, twice, and after I use it, of course, then I follow up with the um, honey and sage. After I, oh well, after I use the or cleanse my hair, then I use this stuff, which smells delicious i mean this honey and sage deep conditioner smells so good and as you can see see what i have left and like i told you i've been using this for like four or five weeks consecutively i love this smell i don't know if she has any body products but if she does whatever fragrance she used here she needs to duplicate it and a body butter a body lotion because this stuff Dishes. I mean, I feel like taking a taking my phone, my my give me a phone. I'm putting together finger and spoon, <laughs> but my finger and just oh, eating it. That's how good it smells. So after I did that, then of course I used the leave-in, which me myself I'm not really a fan of liquid leave-ins. I really like um, cream 
leave-ins for my hair, being it is thick and it's dry. But this hair works because she has a lot of groovy stuff in here that you know. Because, again, she's a natural, so she knows what we would like. Now, after I um, applied that and I used the oil in my hair, then I used the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. This stuff here smells good also. And as you can see, this is what I have left. The only thing I'd have to say about it is that when you apply it to your hair, you have to make sure that you don't have little chunks in it. Because, you know, I try to melt it in between my fingers, which it does a great job. But every now and then I notice that there'll be some chunks in my hair, which is really not a real big deal. But just something for you to look out for but this stuff smells good but out of anything and everything it's, it's all about this honey and sage deep conditioning y'all i'll tell you i love it now let me just say also before i end this um video i like everything together my hair um has been loving these products as far as let me say to um second day hair using these products my hair i wish i had taken a picture done a video or something i love my hair with these products so if i wash my hair on sunday and i wear it out on say tuesday and maybe wednesday night i decide i want to retwist it and of course using those products um the lock method the next day my hair is beautifully glorious and i love it i really have to say i like these products i don't know how you may feel about the glycerin in this hair but that's why i say maybe you should pre-poo and with some oils and all that other good stuff but i like it because it's not greasy it smells good it works good for my hair and she is a small business a youtuber and i like all that stuff so her products definitely get a grade a with me i um in the curl kit there were some other things that came in here i wish she had given us a cleanser or a shampoo but i didn't use the um cream brulee Curls and custard. I haven't used that yet. I will soon. I was very, very curious about the Argan Oil Silk. I haven't used that at all either. And I believe there was something else. Wasn't it a detangler in here? Yeah, there it is. Let's see. I think it was a detangler. Yes, a not speak on detangler. So I want to get to those too, but I really wanted to use these products because I wanted to see how they would work for me as far as washing my hair. I think I mentioned everything that I wanted to about these products because um, I really like them and I was all over the place. But if you have any further questions, you know for sure you can ask me. And um, if you want to know if I would buy these products, yes, I would. The only thing I'd have to say that I would buy for sure is this honey and sage deep conditioner. That will definitely be something I would purchase. The lemon green, the lemon grass, keep saying green, lemon grass leaf and I I would purchase this, but um like I said, I'm not really keen on, but I do like the fact that this stuff right here is thick. Even though it's a liquid, it's thick, it's not loose. And the um, hair growth oil, I like that. But like I said, this stuff will make your hair soft. And I'm telling you, if you use it now, if you're in a cold climate, and you use it now as far, like, you know, to moisturize your hair during the week, I'm telling you, it will work, but you'll have to do it every day. Yeah. Because these products will not keep your hair moisturized, at least for my hair. And I'm going to say for you too, because, well, okay. I can't say for you too, but I'm going to say it anyway. Even for you too, yeah, you'd have to um, moisturize, you know, pretty much every day. And that's why you can see I have what I have left. But I still like the products. So I'm about to end this video now because I need to get on with my cooking. As you know, here in New York, we had a snowstorm. The um, snow is melting, so if you're out there, have to be out there the next couple of days. Be careful. 
I thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next. I hope you're all having a great new year that is starting out just the way you want. And I want you to share and spread love. Before I do that, I just want to mention to you guys that I'm wearing um, Revlon's Black Cherry Lipstick, just in case anybody wanted to know. Mm -hmm. I like this. Real, it's really nice and dark, but it's not so very dark and vampy. You know, you still can chill out with a really simple face, hair pulled back, and still look done up. So now I want you guys to share and spread love. Hey cute people, if you missed my last video, you definitely can click this box and it'll take you right to view the video. Also, I am on social media, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram is Ebony Girl Speaks, and you can find me on Facebook, Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.